Wild Goose and myself sat down to talk about this piece. Um, they knew that they wanted to use sunflowers. It was really important. Um, the line from a John Muir uh, poem, um, Always Sunrise Somewhere, struck a particular chord. And I suppose um, with a sunflower, um, it tracks the course of the day by following the sun. So the shadow always falls behind um, the sunflower. And this idea is about um, you know, finding a moment and um, reflecting and um, being aware of maybe a situation and finding perspective in that. So um, that's how it kind of started the idea. And um, we didn't want a sunflower, an obvious, um, you know, silhouette of a sunflower, something just a little bit more abstracted and brought in. And the Fibonacci sequence was quite important to, uh, important to Wild Goose. Um, so trying to pull out um, the seeds and um, kind of make sure that that idea of the sequence was being kind of seen, but not overpowering the image. Um, I looked at uh, Harry Clark because I found with his stained glass um, windows, there was such detail in it, but the image was still there. And I thought, well, if we were to do a sunflower, there's so much detail when I started sketching the leaves and the seeds and there's so many layers. Once I had found kind of a close-up image that I was quite happy with of the sunflower, I started thinking the stained glass idea, the silhouette kind of cut out and um, and then the sequence, Fibonacci sequence. So I just started tracing over and over my drawing and breaking it down and looking at what happens when there's less is more and maybe adding a bit more here and adding shading and, and that's how the idea um, came to fruition.